In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use PictoChart. PictoChart is an online graphic design tool that you can use to make a ton of different graphics all the way from social media reports to infographics. And what makes PictoChart really special is the way that it can handle different types of data. So you can create a lot of different data visualizations and input a lot of different information and lay it out in a clear way, which makes PictoChart great for businesses as well as school. Now in this video specifically, we're going to be creating a sponsorship package. We're going to be creating a page that gives a quick summary of our channel that we can send to sponsors. And with all the information on the page, they can decide if they want to pursue to a sponsorship or not. And hopefully by the end of this video, you're a picto chart expert. Now, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is create a PictoChart account. So you wanna go on the PictoChart website, which I'll link down below. And once you click on the link, you can click on sign up. Now, the great thing about PictoChart is that there is a free version. And within the free version, you also get access to a lot of the templates that you don't have to pay for. And you can have five projects created at any given time, which is great. So we're going to sign up with Google and just go through the setup process. And once we sign up, they're going to ask us a few questions. So we're going to say we're a student click submit, and then we're going to sign up for some essential tips, click submit, and now we're in the workspace. So once you're in the workspace, your projects are all going to be here. Now, if you want to work with some other people on your projects and you want to make comments or edit together, you can go to the invite member tab and here you can invite someone and choose what role you want them to have. And you can also access your other settings here or by going into the settings but we don't need to change anything. So we're going to go back into the dashboard. And on the left side, we can see all of our templates. So as you can see, they have a ton of different like infographics, presentations, posters, reports. So we're going to be making a report and we're going to go to social media and we're going to look up social media monthly dashboard to find one that catches our eye. And I'm going to use this first one and we're going to click on use template. And once it opens up, it'll open up the template and we're going to just rename it to sponsorship page, click on save. And once it's saved, if we refresh the dashboard and go to it, our project will show up here. We can also create folders to make everything really organized. But we don't have to do that with just one file right now. So once we're here, uh, I'm going to walk you through the sidebar first. So under the graphics tab, you can find all of the elements you need. So first of all, we have the shapes as well as the icons. So for example, if I look up computer and I click computer, you can see a ton of icons come up and you can also sort for them. Underneath, we can also find a ton of different illustrations. And then there's lines. Photos. Now, Photos is powered by Pexels, so a lot of them are royalty free. I, if I'm not mistaken, all of them are royalty free. And so, for example, if I look up camera here, you know, we can get a camera. And to add something, all we have to do is click on it and it will be added on its own. Next up, we have design components. And here we can add different components that are specific to infographics and reports. So for example, we can add lists, timelines, and comparisons. So for example, if I go into timelines, a bunch of timeline like templates come up, which is super cool. And so for example, if I click on this plus button, I can create a new page and then I can find a timeline template that looks cool to me. So say I want to use this one. I could go ahead and just add it. And here I can edit the text and basically have a timeline for the schedule of the video that I wanna make for the sponsor. You also have your uploads, so you don't have to use the content they have. You can add your own images and uploads. There's backgrounds, text, you can choose your color scheme. So we're actually going to go with pastel for this. And then tools, where you can add charts and videos which we'll be going over in just a bit. And then of course, on the top, you can save your project, you can preview it, download it, and share it, which we'll also be touching on later. And the first edit we're going to make is just this banner. So all I wanna do is click on it, and I'm just going to change the color by going into color over here. And I'm going to choose a dark purple that I like. And I'm just going to rename this Sciovo Sponsorship Package, and then prepared by, can just put a Zyovo. Here, I don't have a picture, so I'm just going to delete it. 
And I'm actually just going to add a logo. So I'm going to go to browse images and add this logo over here. And then I can just click on it and it'll be added to my project. I can drag to change the proportions. If I hold shift, the proportions stay in place. And I can move this over here to the top right. I can also set the date. So for example, I could make it today's date, which is Thursday, November 25th, 2021. And say I don't like this background image over here. What I could do is I can go ahead and go into graphics and I can go into photos and say I wanna add a camera. I can just drag it here instead and it'll replace the background like so. And then I can also just change the color of the text to white. So I can go over here, select white, and now it's a lot easier to see. Now we're going to go ahead and go into um, channel summary. So of course we can go ahead and edit all of this text, but I'm just going to do that really quickly so that you guys can focus on the learning. Okay, so all I've done is change these numbers over here so that it shows my subscribers, my views, my average views per video. I'm also gonna delete this feeds because it's not relevant. And now we're going to start building this out. So I wanna add a chart now, and I wanna show the change in my views um, over time. So what I can do to edit a chart is just go to the edit button. And here there's a ton of charts you can choose from, but I'm going to just keep the sample chart. And I'm going to do, you know, views for quarter, we can just say quarter three, uh, 2021. And then I can delete these columns here. And I can edit all my data here, which is super cool. And then I can just fill up, you know, like July, August, September. And then I can go ahead and click views and just fill out the numbers. So I think it was like um, maybe 300,000 views in July, uh, 280 in August, and maybe 315 in September. These aren't actual numbers, but just for the sake of this. And then we can also go to the settings here to edit the chart even more. And we can change the colors, the max and the min. We're going to add data labels, and then we're going to just make the chart purple to match. Click apply changes, and boom, we have a chart already added into our uh, infographic over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this whole chart. I accidentally deleted the box. I'm just going to click on this chart and delete it. And instead I'm going to go into tools and then charts and actually add another chart of my own. And this time I am going to do it for a pie chart and I'm going to show the age breakdown. So what I can do is, you know, like demographics, age data, because sponsors want to know like how old are your viewers? Does the product fit? And what I can do is I can do range, age, and this of course isn't real again. I'm just making this up. So I'm just going to set a couple of ranges, maybe 26 to 40, 41 to 50, 40, 41 to 65, 65 plus, uh, and I realized these are the labels, so I put them in the wrong column. So I'm just gonna copy and paste them over here. And maybe we can say like 10% are in their teens, 15% are young adults, 15% are a little bit older, and then maybe like 30% are adults, and then 30% are seniors. And we're also going to just change the colors and make them match this pastel color palette like so that looks good to me i'm going to click on insert chart and it's been added i'm going to delete this title from the previous chart and just drag this in and we are good to go and there we go now we have the demographics and another chart added the next thing i'm going to add is a video uh, and i'm going to show you how to embed videos into your infographics and presentations so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller like so and then i'm going to delete the current openings um, and instead just make this larger like so i also don't need any of this text so i'm going to delete it and just delete all of the icons as well and now i'm going to go ahead and go into tools again and this time go into videos and i'm going to add a video from my channel so i'm just going to add a photo p tutorial 
Let's pretend that our sponsor is a photo editing software. I can go ahead and insert the video. And there we go, the video has been added. I can shrink it like so. I can just add it right here. I can also edit the link if I ever needed to, and that looks good. I'm also going to click on this rectangle, go to color, and make this one pink. Now, save for some reason the rectangle is in front of the video, you can also use the settings over here to bring things forward and backward. So for example, if I bring this rectangle to the front, it's going to cover the video and I can press Ctrl Z to go back, but that's how you basically edit the layers. And if I wanna make sure things don't move around, I can also click on this lock button and now this background rectangle will not go anywhere. So now that the video is added, I'm also going to quickly add some text and show you how to do that. So all you wanna do is go into text and there's a bunch of different types of text you can actually add um, because you know, you're making visualizations and charts, but we're just going to go ahead and add some subtitle text over here. And I'm just going to call this, you know, um, sponsor sample, except this video is not actually sponsored. Um, I'm just showing an example and we're just going to make it a little bit smaller. So maybe make it 22 like so and we'll make the color a dark gray and we'll just go ahead and drag it and move it right here that looks good to me and then what we can also do is we can edit you know um, this text over here so if you wanted to edit something that's already here you can just make it say you know video type and then i can talk about the types of videos that i make so for example i can do you know um, software tutorials and I'm just going to fill the rest out really quickly. Okay, so I've edited the text and now I'm going to make it look a little bit fancier and I'm going to add some illustrations. So we can go into graphics and we can go into illustrations and I can type in camera here and we can get a bunch of illustrations of a camera. I'm just going to drag this over here and I'm gonna hold shift and change the size and put it into place like so. Okay, so this is looking really good so far. The only thing I'm going to do now is just change this text over here because it's not relevant. So I'm just going to delete it and just delete everything here. And instead what we can show is maybe a comparison of some more demographics, but we'll use the design components. So you wanna go into design components and we're going to add a comparison and we can choose one that uh, shows percentages. So I really like this one. So I'm going to click on it. And then what we can do is click on edit. And here what we can do is go to gender. We can make it male versus female. I think a large proportion of my viewers are male. Uh, so I'm just going to make it match. Go to settings. I can also change the colors and maybe make these ones blue and pink. Um, and then I can do gender breakdown like so. Click apply changes. And the, this has been added. You can, so this is the chart, um, but there's also these components here of this comparison because it's a full template. If you don't wanna use the entire thing, you can also just go ahead and you can ungroup everything. So all you wanna do is right click and go to ungroup. So once everything is ungrouped, you can move it individually. So I'm just going to bring this background here and bring the chart here and delete the rest of this template just because we don't need it. Um, but of course you can use the entire thing if you wanted to. And then once we have this ready to go, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this rectangle here and make it fit like so. And I'm also going to drag this chart and scale it down and it'll automatically scale, which is great. And I forgot to add labels, but if you want to add labels, all you have to do is click on this edit icon, go to dynamic, go to data, go to the settings and we can add a legend like so. And then we can also add the data labels, click apply changes, and now it's very easy to read. So this page looks great. I also added this, which we can edit. Um, so this is just a timeline showing, you know, how the process goes if someone does pursue a sponsorship. And this is also a design component. This is just a timeline that you can add. Um, so once you add it, you can of course edit it, by clicking on it. So for example, I can go to this text over here, you know, make this week one, um, make it a little bit smaller and then make it say, you know, planning. So, you know, 
um, we think of the keywords and video topic. And there we go. So we've edited this. We can also do the same thing for all of the other components of the timeline. Um, and it's very easy to edit. If you need to add more pages, you can of course click on the plus button. You can also delete pages and clone them or move them up or down. So if you click on this, it'll clone a page. You can click on the X to delete it. And then if you wanted to move this at the front, you can click on move up and now it's at the front. You can also zoom out to see all of your pages if you're having trouble and you have a bunch. But we actually are just going to make this a one pager. So I'm going to delete the timeline and I think we're done. So this is the final sponsorship package. And now if we want to preview this, all we have to do is click on preview and we can see it. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can actually share this. So let me just go back. I accidentally went to my dashboard. So once you create this, you can first of all download it, which is pretty standard. You can do it as a PDF or PNG. If it's a presentation, you can also do a PowerPoint, uh, but this isn't the right aspect ratio. So we're just going to do a PDF, make it high quality, and then click on download as PDF. And this is on the free version, so you get a free few downloads. You get a few free downloads as well. And once you open it up, this is the package that I can send to people. Now you can also click on share and here you can make it public or you can add a password. So I'm just going to make this public to show you how it looks. And then I can just give the link to people. And if I go into a tab where I'm signed out and I enter the link, then they can also see it online. But that is how you use PictoChart. Hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.